Hello Team Virgo, it's Empire333 here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and safe, Virgo. This is your love tarot reading plus coffee cup reading. Okay, so first we'll get into oracle and tarot cards. Then we will be doing the cup reading. Um, I will pick up on intuitive messages for you and let you know, okay, what's going on and advice and all that good stuff. Okay, so... Um, Virgo, what I'm getting is you're going to do a wardrobe change, okay? So Spirit is saying this will help to bring color into your life. So there is, um, like you've been through a long time of just doing the same things and stuff like that. So they want you to revive your the color in your life, okay? So maybe if you could also do your hair, like you could dye your hair like a color you would never do. But it's going to bring really good energy for you, okay? So Spirit is saying go for it, okay? <laughs> oh, my Virgos. Uh, yeah, it's not about what you traditionally would do. So it's something that you would not most likely do. So you're going to have this, like, moment where you're like, hey, oh, and the other thing, some of you are going to get a tattoo. You're like, you know what? I've been wanting that tattoo forever. I just never had like the guts to get it, but it's time, like I'm going to do it, you know, it's that kind of feeling, so it could be different ways, like I said, wardrobe, change, um, how you dress, and also hair, changing your hair color, or the way you wear your hair, um, something drastic, okay, I like it, I like it, it's fun, all right, spirit, what do you want Virgo to know right now, what energies is Virgo in? Okay. Whoa. Wow. Okay. Virgo wants some answers. Of course, this is so you. You want the answers. You want some clarity is what I'm getting. Okay. So if those of you, this is a candle, by the way, the, the light is really dim. Um, so I'm just letting you know it is lit. Okay. I lit this for you. All right. So let's see what else. A personal issue reaches resolution. Oh, so you're waiting for a res resolution. This is Cancer, Gemini, Energy. Um, hold your vision, fixed moon. So spirit is saying here, Virgo, you're looking at something in a specific way that is not allowing the energy of something to reach resolution, okay? But it's about to, so... Um, Okay, whoa, I just got a streak of light here. That is so weird. That is, wow, okay. Anything else, Spirit, about this? Okay, a time for healing. So definitely I feel a re there is a resolution coming when it comes to your romantic life, okay? I'm picking up more on romantic than work or anything else with this, okay? A time of healing. So uh, just focus on your healing, uh, Virgo, is what I'm hearing here, okay? Focus on your healing um, and listen to your intuition, your guidance, okay? So let's get into the tarot cards now, the tarot reading. All right. Oh, so Virgo, you're waiting for someone to come heal a situation. So you might be waiting for your person. You've been patient. You've been hopeful, but you feel like it's not coming. Okay. You've been waiting for this for a long time. And some of you are just like losing it. You're like, okay, how much longer am I going to wait for this? Okay. That's Virgo right there. Mm -hmm. I know because I'm a Virgo too. So... This is about you feeling like somebody is not, what's the word for it? They're not really realizing the cup you have. So some of you, your confidence might be boosting right now and you're waiting for some type of a communication from someone, okay? Someone who you have feelings for, Virgo, okay? Some of you have really strong feelings for this person. But here's the question, okay? 
you have other options. There's people around you. Okay, I'm going to take this as options card. So like you have choices of, you know, I got just a ringing in my ear right now. So I feel like a lot of people are interested in you at this time. Okay. I could get at least two people are interested in you, Virgo. Okay. You're, you're getting attention. You might not, not be realizing this. I don't know. Let me know if you're realizing this. You are getting attention. So some of you could also be talking to other people, but you still got your, you know, your mindset on this person. You're waiting for someone. You're waiting for some type of a renewal with someone you know, like someone you have feelings for. This is interesting, okay? So, oh, and you're getting a boost of confidence. Like you're realizing, wait, how come other people are giving me attention and this person's not giving me attention? There's something up here, right? Why aren't this, why isn't this person realizing what I can offer them and, you know, actually appreciating it because I feel like you feel unappreciated. Okay, Virgo. Um, why isn't this person coming and healing the situation? Okay. It's that kind of energy. All right. So let's see about your person, Virgo. Okay. I just heard very difficult person. All right. Wonderful. Spirits just like, they are very difficult. Okay. Let's see about this difficult person. Hold on. All right. Let me give this a good shuffle again. I already pre-shuffled, guys. They just said music is healing, Virgo. So make sure to listen to music. Okay. Healing music. Not like, you know, low vibe energy music. Good high vibe energy good frequency, something that will bring you joy. Because I feel like a lot of you have not felt joyful for a long time, okay? Have some chocolate, all right? You deserve it. Some, I said Virgo, some, okay? So let's see about Virgo's person spirit. What energies are they in? How do they feel for Virgo? No, oh, okay. All right, so this person, I'm sorry, spirit, I don't know what it is. I think it's because Virgos have humor. It's like, um, I just heard this fool is finally putting their guards down, okay? That's what I heard, all right? Do not shoot the messenger. This person had their guards up. I feel like they were resisting this connection. It's taking them their... A long freaking time to like get like kind of like wake up like I don't know what this person is in what kind of energies they're in but this person views you as the star okay views you as someone who it's like you both have like they could um, you could heal them they could heal you it's that kind of all my Virgo healers right but this person is taking such a long time. And I feel like it's because a lot of guards, past baggage that they have. Um, okay. Okay, let's see. All right. What does this person want from Virgo? That's what I'm going to ask. What does this person want from Virgo? All right. you know what this feels like Virgo it feels like you're going through like uh some type of a glow up you've changed you're changing this person um has really strong feelings for you okay they probably love you I don't know let me know in the comments do you feel like this person loves you because regardless I do see that this person does not show you love like easily, you know, they're not like very transparent with their feelings, like the way they express love. Okay. This is King of Cups right here. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. But Virgo, like this person, it's so strange. It's like, they want to know if you're talking to someone else. Okay. You might have said, no, I'm not, but I feel like they 
they are suspecting, like they're suspicious of you talking to other people. Maybe they took too much time to come towards you, right? Maybe you haven't been speaking. Maybe they were really uh, resistance towards this connection. And they're waiting for you to like, here's the thing, Virgo, this person's waiting for you to speak up. They're waiting for you to, you know, for you to communicate. This is interesting. Taurus, I think it was Taurus got the same, right? Oh no, or was it Sagittarius? I don't know if you're dealing with that or you have that those placements. Watch that video. Um, this person's trying to figure out if you are still like available. Okay, they're waiting on you to communicate. Oh, yeah, this is really stressing this person out. Yeah, this person, okay, this is it. This person went through some type of, maybe they ghosted you, Virgo. Not cool, okay? They stopped talking to you, and now they're wondering, like, where's Virgo? What happened to Virgo? Why isn't Virgo reaching out to me? Why isn't Virgo making any moves? You're just being hopeful. You're working on yourself. You're wor you have a lot to do, Virgo, right? Um, some of you have businesses. Some of you are at, like, the prime of your career here or shifting careers is what I heard also. So you have enough to focus on. This person um, is not, is kind of like not really speaking or there could have been a period where they were, they um, went into isolation and now they're come, They're like, okay, well, I'm going to come out now. Uh, and I want to know what Virgo is doing. Well, good morning, okay? So, um this person wants to reach out to you. I feel like this person is trying to figure out like how it would be with you long term. Okay. We got the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel that what's happening here is this person knows that you're not messing around, Virgo. You're serious. And this person and you need to have some type of conversation. Okay. <clears throat> it's going to take this person, um, like to drop their ego. Okay. This person, um, I just heard is egotistical. Okay. So what that means to me is that this person might have a lot of insecurities from the past. Also a lot of fears that they have to, um, deal with when it comes to something that is long-term. Okay. So let's see what's going to become of this situation. What's the probability spirit? Okay, I just heard they will not reach out for some of you. Okay, so some of you, you will hear from this person. Some of you will not. They will just continue observing you from afar and trying to figure out if you've got someone or not. You know, I have to say this person, they're masculine, but they're not in their masculine energy. Okay. They got a lot of things to deal with at this time. They're very stressed out. Um, all right. Okay. So what's going to become of this situation? What's the probability spirit? Okay. Magician. Six of Pentacles and King of Pentacles. So listen, guys. This person here. Yeah. There's going to be a conversation here. Definitely. Okay. Okay. Depends on your person. Not everybody's going to have it soon. Okay. That looks weird. All right. Um, so this has to do with a balance. So this has to do with Virgo. If you've known this person for a long time, if you put so much stuff in and you feel like it was not reciprocated enough, um, there's going to be a conversation about this. Okay. That is coming. So some of you, I feel like some of you are like, even though you're hopeful, you're like, okay, one day this person will wake up and come around. You're still exploring. Like you might, you might be getting attention and you like it, Virgo. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So some of you, this person might come back for a reconciliation. I feel that there's going to be talk about commitment, okay? 
And what I'm seeing here is that some of you, this is kind of like a 50-50 reading. So this person is holding on to past things, or you could be holding on to past times you had with this person. This is the Six of Cups energy, like you're reminiscing about the good times you had with this person, okay? And how um, things were good between you, but this person, I feel, is attached to something else, okay? And because of that, they make up excuses why they can't commit to you, okay? Why they can't take your connection to another level. For the next three weeks, it's going to be really significant for you, Virgo, to um, deal with this person. So you might hear something with, from them within the next three weeks, okay? Some conversation is going to come up. Okay. Spirit, what's your advice for Virgo about this? They said be very transparent, Virgo. Be transparent with this person. Yeah. See, this could go either way. This could be like an ending. This could be um, an illumination. That's what, you know what? That's what Taurus got. Interesting. So... This could be like, this is a part of your soul lesson. And even though it hurts for some of you, you are highly disappointed. This is about releasing an attachment and you listening to your intuition, okay? So, yeah. See, uh, I feel that this person, there's some type of like, this is what I want to say. This person is ego, they keep saying egotistical, okay? Okay. So that might come forth in like fear energy, like they, they, they're not, they don't know how to express their feelings. So then they get like angry if you say something. It's like, I don't know how to say this. It's like a very petty energy I'm getting here from this person. Okay, so you might have you. This might lead into an argument when you both see each other or you communicate together. But you gotta be true to yourself. You gotta honor yourself. Virgo and the cup you offer people. Because even though you are an earth sign, you are definitely water. Okay? You're full of water energy. Like you you have that the cup, right? You know how to nourish, you know how to care for people. You're very caring. It's 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 about you honoring the cup that you offer people, is what I'm hearing here. Okay, so it's up to you how this goes. But Spirit said, keep in mind, if this is going to be another one-way connection, ditch it, okay? That's what they're saying. So see what this person says when they come to you, okay? I feel like you guys are going to argue. It's okay. Be strong, Virgo. I know you are. Um, so let's get into the coffee cup reading. So yes, Virgo, they will be back, okay? If that was your question, they will, okay? I'm seeing a lion in here. So you might be dealing with a Leo. But also, it's kind of like you're... Both of you are going to have an ego match when this person comes. And it's okay, okay? Because we have to embrace all parts of us. We have to embrace our ego too and accept it. Um... Because this needs like a balance check is what I'm hearing. This connection needs a balance check. Okay. Uh, yeah. So yeah. So like, you know, lions are, um, they, they get ready for war, right? So I, I feel like definitely you're going to have a um, <laughs> rift. Spirit's like Virgo's well equipped for it. Do not worry. Okay. All right, Virgo, heads up. I feel like you're going to approach this person in a caring, loving way, and you're going to see that it's not going to work that way, and then you're going to shift. Whatever you need to say, let it out, whatever it is that you want. Okay, Virgo? So there is a chance for you to go on like a short mini retreat or something, and Spirit is saying do it, okay? Um, this is interesting.
I see the letter, I mean the number seven, okay? And, uh, wow. Virgo, you might literally like totally change your mind about this person. Like you might just stop wanting them and it's gonna surprise you too for some of you. After you say what you're gonna say. Because this person is disturbing your peace. They will disturb your peace is what I'm getting. Or they have been disturbing your peace, okay? And you work too hard to get there is what Spirit is saying, okay? So the other thing I'm seeing is uh, the letter Y, okay? Maybe that's significant for you. So there is, you know that... Um, This person and you are going to throw jabs. I'm just letting you know, okay? You're definitely going to throw jabs with someone. I, I feel like it's going to be this person, okay? Um, <clears throat> also, there's something that is shifting in your partnership house. Like I said, I feel like a lot of you are going to have some type of a glow up and it's going to re be really good for you, okay? And also... Um, There is an opportunity that's coming with somebody, okay? And this is going to be a really good opportunity for you. It doesn't have to be necessarily romantic. It could be, or it could be other um, things. I mean, an, another, like, opportunity job, I don't know, uh, some type of a new start or something. And Virgo, what they're saying is, like, don't get so consumed with the energy of this person and overanalyze what are they going to do next, what are they going to say next, or whatever it is. Um, don't be so consumed with the answers coming from this person, okay, about clarity that you miss out on an opportunity. You, they're saying you got to hit it while, while it's hot. So I feel like somebody is going to like, um, make you passionate about something again. Okay. So definitely pay attention to that. Okay. There is a lot going on right now in your life and um, I feel like you're going to go through some type of a transition here. There's going to be changes in your life, but they're for the better. But there's like kind of like the, this, um, I'm seeing the cancer sign too. So I don't know if you're dealing with the cancer. Did I say that already? I'm seeing it in the cup too. But this is just like a prep, okay? There is going to be someone who wants to come into your life. Okay, there's someone new that will be coming into your life, and this is going to like change how you see things, Virgo. Okay, I hope this helped you, Virgo. If it has, don't forget to like this video. Let me know in the comments how you resonated, and I wish you all the best. Peace out.